What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Black and Red Builds channel. It is a beautiful day here in the FLA and I finally got in box 8. You can tell because I wrote it on the box right there. Box 8 of the Fan Home slash Diagostini Build Your Own Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine. Uh, if y'all are following along with this build, you know I've been waiting on box 8 for a while now. I've had box 9 sitting over here for a couple of months. Uh, box 7 came. I made a video of it. I'll post that right up here if you want to go back and catch up on that. It was missing stage 30. They've included that in here. So this should be stage 30 from box 7. And then 33 through 37. Yes, 33 through 37 of box 8. I also have box 9 in because, like I said, I've had that for several months. And I've got box 11 in because box 10 is on back order so i don't know how long it's going to take to build this model but uh, anyways i still love the model it's looking great so without waiting any longer let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open all right guys here's the box it is quite a large box uh, so let's go ahead and crack into this thing and see what we got so here's all of our stuff inside let's go ahead and get all of this onto the desk There it is. All right, we got all of our parts here. Uh, I think this is that part um, pack 30. Yeah, this is that pack 30 that we've been waiting on from box seven. This is, this is the piping that runs from the radiator back to the mower. Motor, not the mower, the motor. And then uh, these are all the parts for the rest of the build here. Should be 33 through 37, and that's what it looks like. Let's get those out of the way. Looks like we also got another binder here for putting the magazines in, right here. Things are always kind of stiff. Anyways, yeah, another binder. And it looks like we have an out of time tag from Back to the Future. I used to have one of these a long time ago. I picked it up at Universal Studios Orlando when I was a uh, younger lad. I don't know what happened to it, but I have another one now. So here it is, got the August Got the 86 sticker on it. Pretty cool. All right, guys, and here are our magazines. Like I said, we've got stage 30 from uh, pack 7. And then we got 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36 from this new pack 8. So let's go ahead and get started on stage 30. All right, here's the magazine for stage 30. Let's go ahead and get a look inside here. And here's our parts here I just showed a minute ago. This is all the piping that runs from the radiator in the front back to the motor in the back. And uh, this is going to be how we install those on here. And when we get done, uh, well, you're not going to be able to really see them. They're going to be underneath the car, but they will be there. And uh, we'll be at this stage right here. Yeah, let's get a look on through here. I don't know if you can hear my dogs playing with something. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got our car base here. We're going to be working on here, and we're going to be flipping this over. This stuff, I think in general, most of it's going to go underneath, but I think our first part is going to go right here on the top. We're going to get our Fantic screwdriver out. This is the Fantic E1 Max award-winning screwdriver. If you're interested in this screwdriver, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. All right, we're going to be starting off with this piece here. This is the front water piping. This is piece 30B. And it's going to go right here in the front. It's going to, this little tab is going to hook into the hole here on the radiator. Just like this. And it's going to sit right over this uh, right here where we're going to screw that in into this peg here. And we're going to do that with a JM screw. And it's going into metal, so I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it right on the hole. Just a little bloop. There we go. And we're going to screw that in. All right, it's going to look just like that. You know, we need 30B, that's this one here. It's got the two pieces on this end and the one wide one on that side. We're gonna need to flip this over. I wanna kinda of protect the motor, so I wanna put something under it. I'm trying to remember what I, yeah, I think I just used the uh, screwdriver case before. Like this, I don't want it sitting on the motor. There we go. Okay, now this is gonna go in 
this way. It's going to sit in like on this side here. We're just going to run this down in inside here. Yeah, we're just going to run it underneath this arm, and it's going to sit on top of the frame on that side. So run underneath the dipstick. There we go, like that. Okay, and these are going to sit on top of these two pins here, and we're going to screw that in with two FP screws. That's nice and snug. Now on this end, we're going to use an AM screw, and we're going to screw this in right down here with that AM screw. I think I'm going to put just a drop of oil right on the screw, just like that. Let's see if we can get that thing screwed in. Perfect. It's going to look like that. All right, now we have 30A, and that's going to be going on this side. It's going to be attaching to this pipe here. And it's going to be coming around and attaching right here to this uh, lug right here. So if we can get that just right. So this just sits over this pin. There's a little pin on here right there. And this just sits over that. And then goes over this little thing inside there. Like that. And over this pin. Get that pushed in nice and tight. Should just friction fit on there and it does. You could glue that I guess if you wanted to but well that might be a chore. There you go. Should look just like that. I'm going to be flipping this back and forth over and over. So we're going to go back this way again. Again I want to set this up so it's not on the motor. Let's set it over like this. Just like that. Now we got uh, part 30C that's this pipe here. And that's going to be going underneath here and connecting on to this one here, like that. And we're going to screw that on with an AP screw. All right, let's get this screwed in, and then we'll flip it over and uh, make sure the other side's in right. There we go. Now let's flip it over and check the other side. Here it is. It comes out and it hooks into this pipe. <laughs> get it back on its wheels. Into this pipe right here. So let's just push it all the way in. Just like that. All right, now we got 30H, that's the split looking pipe. And that's going to be hooking onto here and into the radiator at the top and bottom, uh, right here and here. So let's get that put on, push it into those two radiator ports there. And it's going to screw in right here with one JM screw. Yeah, yeah, it should look like that. All right, we're going to flip her over again this way and we're going to put this other long pipe in this is a uh, 30f and it should go this way just like we did on the other side it's going to go underneath it's going to rest on top of the frame down here and over these two pegs on the top and we're going to screw these in with two fp screws there we go now we're going to get an am screw and we're going to screw it in into the back one that's right down here there you go. That's in there, right here. You can flip it back around again. And we got another pipe to add, I think, on this side. We have 30E here, and that's going to be, going to be attaching right underneath here. There's a little spot, and it's going to be attaching to this pipe here. Took a minute to get that snapped in there, but I got it. So it should look just like that. It's, it's up in there. You see right in there, that was hard to get that pushed in there onto that pin, but we got it. We got one pipe left. I'm going to flip it back over again, like this. And it's going to go on this side, just like that one. And we're going to attach it up here on the top with an AP screw. Yeah, now we'll flip it over. And then this peg is going to go into that part of the pipe right there, just like that. All right, guys, and that's all that piping for the uh, radiator back to the motor. You got the piping running out this side and that side, running along the bottom and into the motor here. Very nice. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 30. Let's go ahead and move on now to box eight, stage 33. I'm in stage 32. Here we go, stage 32. Get a look inside here, see what we're gonna be working on on this one. With this, you should receive the fuel tank and battery box for your DeLorean plus fixing screws. So that's what this is, the fuel tank 
battery box. I don't know if I have any AAA batteries, so probably should get some. Uh, so yeah, we'll be hooking the battery box into the fuel tank, screwing it in, and then clicking it into the car here. Uh, looks like the switch and everything's going in. All right, when we get done, we're going to look like this. Looks like we're going to run it around to the front. A little bit about uh, the third movie, I think, here. Save the clock tower. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, looks like we're going to take the fuel tank and the battery box, and we're going to set the battery box in the fuel tank. It's got three tabs here with holes. It's going to go over the corresponding ones inside here. And we're just going to drop it in there, just like that. Now we're going to take the switch, get it unraveled here. And the switch is going to go in to this box here. Uh, this way, with the switch flipped uh, to the right. And we're going to stick it down inside this spot here for it, just like that. All right, now we have three FP screws that we're going to screw this together with. Again, we have these three tabs that we're going to screw through. All right, just like that. All right, now we need our chassis back out here. We're going to put our fuel tank in. I'm going to put it uh, right side up like this. And we have this triangle here, and that's where this fuel tank is going to fit in. We're going to run the wires out this side, like this. And then we're going to slide this in. These little cutouts are going to go over these tabs here. And then the front one is going to go right into the center there. That in just like that. And now we're going to need to flip this over. I'm holding this in. Again, I want to put something down here so it's not sitting on the motor. You know, holding this in, we're going to screw this in here, here, and here with three FP screws. I need to get one in to kind of hold this. There we go. Just slide something underneath there to hold it. There we go. It's gonna look like that. I'm gonna flip it back over again, this way. And we got these uh, three little tabs here, and that's what we're gonna wrap this wire with. The wire's gonna rattle along here. There's a little trough here for it to go in, back here to the back. And we're gonna put one tab here, one tab here, and then one tab goes back here at the back. Now these are 32C is what they are. I'm gonna screw them on with the uh, 3KM screws. As World of Wayne would say, this is very fiddly. Got it, woo! That was certainly fiddly. Or as I would call it, tedious. Very tedious. Anyway, it's gonna look like that, guys. All three of them on there. That's the end of stage 32. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 33. All right, here's stage 33. Let's get a look inside here. Here's our parts here. Fuel tank, bottom plate, and battery box cover. Just gonna be putting those on. Looking like that. Pretty easy one. Let's go ahead and uh, look through the rest here. Roger Rabbit on here. All right, let's get started. All right, we got our car back over here again. Chassis, proper up. Here we got the tank bottom plate here. We're gonna be attaching that on. It only really goes one way. We're just gonna slide it over like this and we're gonna screw this in. We just need to get the switch in the right spot and get the holes lined up around it. And we're gonna screw that in starting with four BM screws. Now the BM screws are gonna go here towards the, the wider part on the bottom. We got one here and one here, and then one here and one here. All right, and then on these top two holes, we're gonna put two LM screws. All right, now all I gotta do is put the battery cover on. Just like that. Yes, yeah, the end of stage 33. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 34. All right, here's stage 34. Let's get a look inside. Got our parts here. This is the chassis uh, front front upper chassis uh, reservoir and uh, our screws screws there. Looks like we're just going to be attaching the reservoir onto it, and then that's going to be going onto the 
front part of the chassis there underneath. Nope, nope, on top. When you get done, it's going to look like this. Okay. A little bit more about the movie here. Now there's the man, Michael J. Fox. I think we're going to be doing uh, the front wheel arches in the next one. All right, let's get started. All right, we got the front upper chassis here, the front chassis here. It's all metal. We're going to lay it down like this. We have our reservoir here. We're going to be attaching that on. Uh, on the bottom, we got uh, two little holes here. That's going to go over these two pegs here. So we're just going to line those up. Shouldn't turn. If you got them on right, you should be able to turn it. And we're going to attach it on with an FP screw. Yeah, get our FP screw here. We're going to hold that on and flip it over, and we're going to screw it in right through the middle here with that FP screw. We're going to get that nice and snug. Perfect. The rest of the chassis here are going to be going over the front. It's going to line up over these and these pegs down here. Just want to line it up on those on the bottom and on the top. Snap it in just like that. Okay, now the bottom, we're going to put in four DM screws here, 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 and here. And on the top, we're going to put in two FP screws. We'll start with those DM screws. I'm going to apply a little uh, oil, just like I always do to these. There we go. Put those two FP screws in the front. And there we go. Going to kind of tighten everything together a little bit better, too. Looking good. Yes, yeah, the end of stage 34. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 35. All right, here we go with stage 35. Again, this, uh, we got those uh, uh, wheel arches under the fender wheel parts there. We're putting them on here and here. Looks like that's over the front wheels. So, and when we're done, we'll have this. Uh, this we'll have those on. Let's go ahead and look through the rest of it here. Hill Valley. Then we got these pontoon parts coming next. Let's go ahead and get started. Wow, well, I thought these were going to be plastic, but these are, uh, they're metal too. Check that out. How awesome is that? All right, we got our whole chassis. Chassis. Yeah, we're going to be starting with uh, the 35A. This is going to be the driver's side. Well, in, in, in America, the driver's side. And it's going to slide over like this here and here. Then we're going to screw that on with two DM screws. On there nice and sturdy. It's going to look like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All right, there's both of them. Nice. All right, let's end the stage 35. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 36. All right, here's stage 36. Let's take a look at our parts. Look how cool this thing looks. Love, love, love this car. And we have the right and left rear pontoons that we're going to be attaching. Uh, this is them here we're going to be putting together. All right, when we get done, we're going to have this these two uh, pontoons connected together. Let's get a look on through here. And uh, in our next issue, we'll be working on the rear wheel arches. So let's get it going. All right, guys, this stage is super simple. We're just going to be attaching these two pieces to these two pieces with these two screws. So let's do this one right here first. Okay, and this is going to be the left one. So we need the one that's left. This one has an R on it. Where you can see it right in there. Here's got a little L right there. That's the one we're going to be using. They are slightly different. It's going to go this way. So this little pin is going to go in the front hole like that. And then the back one's going to sit over that hole. And we're going to screw that in right here with that AP screw. All right, just like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
Once again, the pin's going to go in this hole, and this hole's going to go over that one, and we're going to screw that in with the other AP screw. All right, guys, and they're going to look just like this, all done. And we're just going to set these aside because we are all done with stage 36, and that is the end of box 8. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. All right, guys, uh, again, we're all done with box 8 now for the Fan Home Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine. Uh, we didn't do a lot of real um, visual things on this, just some more on the chassis. We put these uh, wheel wells uh, in over the uh, front wheels there. We've got the wire connected right here. You see that? Uh, we put in all this piping here that goes from the radiator in the front down. That was supposed to be done in box 7, but they uh, didn't ship it until box 8. Uh, we put the fuel tank and the battery box in and of course this whole front covering here so uh, now we got these um pontoons here they're going to go in the back i think somewhere so we'll be doing that later on uh, so yeah guys it's coming along real nice i uh, hope you guys are enjoying this build we'll be doing box nine pretty soon i do have that in and ready to build so We'll be doing that. Also, I have a, um, I'm going to be doing a holiday uh, building. I'm going to do um, uh, for uh, Halloween. So we're going to do Wicked Wednesday. And every Wednesday, I'm going to put out another Halloween build. And then uh, for Christmas, we'll be doing something for Christmas as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, don't forget, guys, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway. I had posted a video about that sometime before. But we will be doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, comment, walk right over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red Builds. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.